Hey everybody, and welcome to another RCT2 review. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas yesterday. Uh, although this is not Christmas themed, it is winter themed, so I thought it might be close enough and somewhat appropriate to cover for today's video. Uh, this is Mount Haystack Ski Resort. Uh, this is a head to head 8 map in round 4 by the Space Crabs. Uh, this is built uh, by four builders Camcorder 22 with 38%, Saxman 1089 with 38%, Coupon with 17%, and Space K with 7%. Uh, this is probably the best example of a ski resort in the game I think we've seen so far. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty pretty impressive. So why don't we go on through and take a look here. Starting down here in our Blaze Plaza, we've got our big ski lodge here. We've got sort of two spaces. We've got the big kind of hotel space on this side and then the lodge building over here. So coming in, we'll turn back in the way we were facing originally. Let's jump in here with the super zoom. Uh, we've got a couple of different, uh, you know, buildings in here. Got this great rooftop bar here looking out over top of everything. Uh, little shop stalls throughout the space. Um, I love this little chateau here with a nice overhang on the front and the lattice work. Um, and the, I guess this is a food truck down here uh, as well. And then our little creek that runs through the middle here. Uh, you get this great overhang of the water, which would be a really neat space to dine, I would think. And then down here, right along uh, the water as well, sort of listening to that rushing water as it uh, goes down. We have this great covered bridge in the diagonal form right across the space as well, uh, put together really nicely in the way that it sits there. We also have our uh, ice skating rink here. Uh, this person here in the middle doing some figure skating and uh, some of these other folks here doing some laps around as well. Uh, nice coffee shop and then uh, the whole building here, kind of this larger um, lodge type building with the ski school and everything else is pretty substantial and it's actually really nice. Um, first of all, you've got this great kind of viewpoint here uh, looking out over the slopes, all these tables and chairs and everything so you can kind of look and see what what all there is to see. Uh, waffle cabin here. Love this, especially with the, the big waffle on top. And then some of this back of house equipment here, like the uh, the big uh, groomer machines here uh, that are inside uh, inside this covering. All right, so as we continue along, let's not miss the REI back here as well. A uh, little shop with uh, some rock walls and things like that. Uh, let's jump across to the other side here, to this building. So we've got a uh, brewery here and some other different bits and pieces, but this building here is sort of the, the main space. So the sort of this barn theme almost, got this red barn going on, here's the silo and everything. Um, and then inside we've got this, uh, I guess sort of a hot spring with a water slide and everything, changing rooms down here and uh, kind of anchoring this whole thing all around the side is this Rocky Mountain coaster called Frostbite. Now, at the time when this park was released, this was uh, super uh, controversial. Uh, There's a lot of people asking, why would you put a an RMC coaster on a ski resort? Is it realistic? Could it fit? Does it make any sense? Um, I think it's fine, to be honest. Uh, I think it actually looks really nice. Uh, so we're, we're going to enjoy it here. So coming out of the station here, we get this uh, typical RMC sort of bounces with the banking and everything. And uh, we're going to start up our pretty long lift hill here actually a pretty substantial uh, coaster. Um, let's take some time to appreciate the landscape though as we go up this great use of uh, the various rock pieces with the uh, 1k rocks here uh, throughout and the landscaping in general is just really really nicely done. There's a lot of new snow pieces and uh, different textured pieces here that are being used uh, in a way that really kind of elevates this out pretty well I would say. Um, so here's uh, <laughs> nice little detail your coupon taking a leak uh so dive down underneath the uh the first drop here uh, or the first um uh, ski slope as it wraps around the slopes here nice roll in front of the drop it will win here as we come on down the slope this great big banked airtime hill over top with that archway and then we'll head back inside here for this and a roll corkscrew and then into the brakes uh, I think it's fun. You know, I think it works really well and it looks good. So uh, I think it's it's fine with me. We've got a couple of new uh, custom rides that debuted here. So first of all, we have our ski lifts here. So we've got a Doppelmeyer um, 8 and then on this side we have a Poma lift. 
Um, or no, actually, that's a Doppelmayr uh, 4, the open ski lift here. So let's take a look at all there is to see. First of all, let's go up to the top, and we've got a, uh, looks like a Duncan up here, and the uh, pretty substantial uh, building for the uh, top of the ski lift. I uh, love these custom uh, pillars also, uh, very nicely put together. Uh, but up top here, we have our nice radio tower and a um, little bit of a uh, seating area up top here. We've got the uh, bartender walking around, so nice place to get up to the top and enjoy the view and also some drinks. Uh, and then once you get up top, we have all of our uh, nice little ski uh, pieces here uh, laying up against the racks. Um, that's some great custom scenery pieces, really works well here. You can see all the snow lances all the way down here, uh, so lots of little details. I know Coupon especially uh, on this park is is big into skiing, and uh, no wonder there's so many good details for it. Now you can trace this whole uh, waterfall all the way down, uh, two of these here as it comes across, and that actually is what ends up here coming through the village uh, at the bottom. And we've got a couple of different ski slopes that we can go down. We've got this one on this side here, and I just love the way that some of these um, some of these people kind of pulling off to the side. Uh, in some cases, it's slow, so on the flat bits, we're slowing down, and then we'll speed up again as it drops down. Um, here we've got somebody who uh, had some trouble here, uh, so there's a helicopter rescue coming in to uh, get this guy off of the slopes. Maybe he went a little big, perhaps, to start, and uh, here we are coming down at the very, very end. Uh, on this side, we've got some other little pieces, um, so kids slope here with the uh, smaller lift, so here's a magic carpet uh, coming up, and then our kind of slower section down here. What's really cool to me is the use of the corrugated metal roofing here for the groomed snow. I think that's a really cool way to show the sections that are groomed or not as they've gotten worn through the overall space. Um, and then also just this custom ride uh, peeps here of the skiers and the snowboarders all the way down. Uh, let's spin back around here and enjoy a another one here. So we have a slalom course here in the middle with the gates, so the blue and the red, all the way down to our uh, finishing area here. So we have all the uh, TV tower and everything uh, for those sorts of details, which really kind of nicely put together. I love this... Uh, kind of mid-level um, chateau, chalet, I guess you could say. Nice little ski in, ski out um, bar option, I suppose. Um, this is a little more extreme of a slope coming down here, uh, as you can see with the, the snow coming down and all the bits and pieces. Uh, you can also see this jump here on this side, but coming down, I guess this is your sort of black diamond run on this side. Uh, and here it's called Death Door. Double Black Diamond, as you can see by the uh, run, and then actually if you click on each of these, you can you can tell kind of where they're coming from. Can I get them? There we go. That's called Crabgrass Junction, so intermediate. And then on this side here, this is the Moose Knuckle. So lots of great names. I love that they actually named all the different runs and everything like that. So coming off of this lift on this side, we have our... Um, Obstacle course, or sorry, no, it's not called that. I can't remember what it is off the uh, top of my head. The park, I guess. Um, so Pokey's Park and uh, Big Air. So what's cool with this one is that you've got your quarter pipe on this side, all the different rail elements and jumps and everything coming through, uh, wrapping up to uh, the drop down here, and then our uh, little, I guess, hot spring down here as well. Um, so very cool as far as that's put together. Uh, also, the another little kids area here. Uh, this is, I guess, for the little, little kids. A little Snowville here. And uh, the uh, kitty carpet coming down to the little fireplace and everything there. Uh, and then one more little fun detail on this side is we have an Alpine coaster. Uh, so this is a new custom ride vehicle as well for the uh, vegan to Alpine coaster. Uh, using the uh, power coaster track, which is probably the right one, uh, all the tracks in this game are probably a little bit thick for an alpine coaster, but nonetheless, this is a cool uh, option for us. It's definitely one of those things where you need a lot of terrain because alpine coasters don't go uphill uh, by the very nature of what they are. They can really only go downhill, so you've got to make the most of it uh, with the space. And I think this was done pretty well, especially based on the head-to-head -head size regulations for the park. 
Um, so there's a lot crammed into a very small amount of space, and this is one of those parks that I feel ends up coming across as much larger than it actually is uh, based on where the, um, uh, where the size limitations take us. So I think for me, this one still kind of sticks out as, as the best of the ski resorts that I've seen. Uh, there were some other good ones in the Grand Tour, uh, some other winter type ones that we'll look at here this January and uh, take a look into as well. Uh, but for me, this one is one of my favorites and uh, actually one of my favorite parks in Head to Head 8. Um, not surprising that uh, Space Crabs went on to take the eventual victory uh, in the contest. So hopefully you'll download this as well and check it out. You can get it in the description below. Um, but until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great holiday and we will catch you in the next one. Bye now.